It is 90 degrees today on mid-November, whatever day it is. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the AC on. Okay, let's get right into the empties. I've got makeup, skincare, and hair care here. And I think we're gonna start with makeup. I have finished this Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is the shade N117. So you can tell this is really old because this is actually the older version of the HD foundation. I think they came out with a new one like a year and a half ago, maybe even two years ago. So this is super old and it took me a while to get through, but I love this foundation and I probably will repurchase in the newer formula. I also have two mascaras that I've used up. This is the Guerlain Mascara Noir. I don't know, I think that's not the actual name. This mascara was really nice. I really liked the formula and I liked how it made my lashes look, but it smells really strongly like, oh my God, it smells so strong of flowers. Like it's a really florally perfumed mascara. So if you don't like perfume or fragrance around your eyes or in your face in general, because you definitely can smell this after you put it on, then I wouldn't recommend it for that reason but the formula is great if you don't mind the scent. I also finished off a tube of my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I love this mascara and I've already repurchased another tube of it and I'm wearing it right now in addition to some false lashes. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you wanna see this makeup look that I'm wearing right now, then I already have a video up on this look. This is the most recent Get Ready With Me video on my channel. So I will link that down below if you wanna check out this tutorial. What else? Um, this is kind of makeup, I guess. This is the Cogendo Cleansing Spa Water. I did like this. It was nice. It's not, I don't think it's any better than the Bioderma, which is my favorite micellar, micellar water. Um, and I think this one is more expensive. Not sure if I will repurchase. I'll probably just stick with Bioderma. Okay, next on to skincare. This I really loved. This is the Herborean Solid Cleansing Oil. This is a Korean product. It's basically a bunch of oil and kind of waxes and you scoop a bit out. It's like a balm. There's a little bit left in there. Probably get a couple more uses out of this. But yeah, you scoop out a bit, rub it on your face dry and then rinse it off. And then I usually follow up with a second cleanser to remove the residue. But this is amazing for getting makeup off and it also moisturizes at the same time. And I'm not sure if I'll get this exact one again, but I definitely am a fan of cleansing balms in general. Oh, and this one kind of smells like, like eucalyptus a little bit, or like really fresh, kind of like cucumbers, not eucalyptus. It smells like cucumber. <laughs> yeah, I definitely recommend the Herborean Solid Cleansing Oil. I think this is from Sephora. So one of the cleansers that I would usually follow up the cleansing balm with is the fresh soy face cleanser this is kind of like a little small version i think i got this from like the isle of doom at sephora with all the tiny products that you think are gonna be cheap but this is about like 15 dollars i think or something maybe maybe less anyways this is like a basic cleanser it's for all skin types rich in amino acids i don't know basically it's a nice skin cleanser it, is, it says it's soap free and you can also use this over your eyes, which is nice. So it won't sting your eyes if you're trying to remove eye makeup or if you're trying to remove your cleansing balm that you use to remove your eye makeup, you can use this liberally all over your face. And I already have repurchased that. Actually, no, I didn't repurchase it, but I selected my Sephora birthday perk that was the fresh soy face cleanser in a mini bottle. So I do have another one that I'm gonna use. Another cleanser. This is the Tatcha Pure Camilla Camellia One Step Cleansing Oil. So this is kind of something that I would use on lighter makeup days or in the morning if I didn't want to do the beauty, the cleansing balm and regular face cleanser combo. I would just use this, which is an oil cleanser, but it's not quite as heavy as the Herborean cleansing balm. So this one kind of rinses off more cleanly and you don't need to follow this up with a regular cleanser to remove any residue. It kind of leaves your face nice and moisturized, and I really like it. But I don't think I will repurchase this right away. This is kind of expensive for a face cleanser. I think it was like $50 or something. So for five ounces, 5.1 ounces. So it's kind of expensive. I've already purchased the Boschia, wait, Boscia. I've already cleansed, I've already purchased the Boscia cleanser, the cooling 
oil cleanser and that has been a nice replacement for this guy. Although I do recommend this if you want a luxurious cleanser. More skincare. I finished off this Origins Eye Doctor eye cream. This was a lovely eye cream. I definitely enjoyed using it. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of any skincare products that are in pots like this that you have to stick your finger into only because of bacteria and stuff and exposing the product to the air makes it go, go bad faster. So I don't love the packaging of this, but the actual product was really nice. It was a very moisturizing eye cream and I loved using it. Next up is the Tata Harper Hydrating Floral Essence. So this was like a facial spray, essence spray. I like the product. It smells very herbally. Yeah, it's a very like mature, floral, herbally kind of scent, which is nice. But my main problem with this product is that the spray apparatus is terrible. It really squirts out in giant droplets. And I feel like the way that, maybe it's just mine, but the way it squirts, it squirts like one cloud up this way and then another one down this way and leaves like a stream in the middle where no product sprays out. So you kind of, if you're spraying at your face, you get wet here and here and then the middle is dry. So I'm not a fan of the packaging of this at all. And for that reason, I definitely wouldn't buy it again. This Queen of Hungary mist has an amazing spray nozzle and the mist is super fine. So if this, product came in packaging more like this one, then I definitely would repurchase it. But there's no way I would consider it for the price. I think this was like around $40 or something, maybe even more. Wow, yeah, this was not $40. This was $68. And for that price, I'm very upset that this spraying function didn't work for me. This was definitely a disappointment. I finished yet another one of my L to MD skincare UV clear broad spectrum SPF 46 sunscreens. This is one of my favorite sunscreens. I go through this so quickly. Um, I'm actually using a different one right now, but I will probably go back to this eventually. I really love this product. It's not only a sunscreen, but it also has a 5% niacinamide, which helps reduce the appearance of blemishes, discoloration, and photo damaged skin. Yeah, I think I've talked about this before on my channel. I'm not gonna go too much into it but I do love the Elta MD sunscreen. I also finished up a bottle of the Trilogy Rosehip Antioxidant Plus Oil. I'm a big fan of rosehip oil. I think I've talked about this before. If you like face oils, rosehip is a really great one because it contains natural vitamin A, which is basically nature's retinol. This particular formula, the Antioxidant Plus formula says, it, it says, Advanced formula Rosapine is a highly effective beauty oil shown to improve skin tone, elasticity, fine lines, and wrinkles. I like to use this at night on my face and I find it really hydrating, moisturizing. Not sure about the wrinkles, but I will gladly keep using this for another 10 years and get back to you on that. Moving on to hair, I have finished a bottle of the r Co. Death Valley Dry Shampoo. I really like this dry shampoo. It smells really good. It smells kind of like warm and maybe coconutty or something, but not like cheap coconutty. It's like kind of a sophisticated scent, but it smells delightful. I also love the packaging of all R and Co products. Beautiful. And it works very well as a dry shampoo, which is the most important thing. Uh, I, I just purchased the Orbe dry shampoo, so I'm not going to be repurchasing this one right away but I definitely could see myself using this in the future. I finished off another bottle of the Soap & Glory Clean On Me Creamy Moisture Shower Gel. This is the travel size version. I usually prefer to get this in the travel size version because although the scent is basically the best part about it, it smells divine. It smells like um, Misty or Sherry perfume, but I do find it, if I use, if I were to purchase a giant bottle, I do get kind of sick of the scent after a while. So that's why I use this as my travel body wash. And of course, it washes the body efficiently, effectively. And my last empty for now is the Sephora Formula X Delete All Five Finger Nail Polish Remover Dissolvent. So this is basically like a jar with a giant sponge fitted in it. And the sponge has five little holes and you stick your hand in there, one in each hole, and then kind of, and then wait a couple seconds and remove your hands from the sponge and your nail polish is magically gone. It's a super quick way to remove your nail polish. If you're one of those people that doesn't like doing your own nails because it's tedious, this is a nice thing. 
Although I have to say I, this is $15, which is kind of expensive for nail polish remover. This is an acetone formula, by the way. So I do think that if you go to like Target or CVS, you can get a similar product where it's a jar with a sponge and you stick your finger in. I'm not sure if they have any five finger ones in the kind of generic versions, but this is definitely a product that you don't need to spend $15 on from Sephora. But I do like the concept. And that's all the empty products I have for now. So happy to be getting rid of this box of old empty things. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.